So we have a question to practice here. I'm going to get you to pause and do each step and then check what you've written. You can see I've filled in the notes on the right already. I hope you've done so, hopefully from memory so that you can remember those steps. And remember that if you do bring down a term, you have to go back up to dividing and then starting all over. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So our first step is to write out the division question. Pause your video and do so. Did you notice that you were missing x to the power of 3 and x to the power of 1? Did you put in your terms with 0 as a placeholder? I hope so. All right, the next step is to divide. You divided the first terms, 3x to the power of 4 divided by x, and wrote your quotient on top. The next step is to multiply. You used the distributive property to multiply, and you made sure that your powers were matching when you wrote the product. Now subtract. Well, you can see I've subtracted and brought down the next term. That means we need to go back up to step three and divide. We divided the first terms, put our quotient 9x squared on top. Now we can multiply. Again, we've matched up our powers and we're going to subtract. Did you get the right answer for subtracting? Subtracting is the place where most people make a mistake here. I've also brought down the next term, so we need to go back up to step three and divide. Divide the first terms, 25x squared divided by x, and write the quotient on top. Now we need to multiply. After you multiply, you need to subtract and bring down the next term. Since we were able to bring down the next term, we have to go back to step three and divide. We wrote the quotient on top, and now we can multiply, subtract. There are no other terms to bring down. Why don't you find out the remainder? Did you get a remainder of 226 and a quotient of 3x cubed plus 9x squared plus 25x plus 75? Remember that we can write this answer as the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. Make sure you practice this if you've forgotten or it's been a while, and if it's just too difficult, please talk with me or an ICM advisor about switching to Math 99.